Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cade Gaming. Today I am excited to announce that we are going to take a look at Dave the Diver. Uh, a game where you get to play as Dave, a man who by day goes down into the ocean to gather fish, and by night it becomes a restaurant sim where you open a sushi bar and you serve whatever fish you catch. Um, I have not played this before, but I am very excited to say it is over overwhelmingly positive reviewed on Steam, uh, and it looks like a lot of fun. So grab a coffee and let's dive in together. Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Mm. Well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So where's the sushi at? <laughs> Don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. What kind of business? Well, we could discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. Hmm. I don't have a good feeling about this. A sushi bar by the blue hole. All right, so base controls, WSAD. Perfect. Hold down, spacebar. Uh, I'm so excited. I've seen, like, trailers for this game, and it looks so pretty and so fun. Nice form. <laughs> All right, how about try stretching out a bit? Try moving to the marked area. With left shift, you can move quickly. Remember, this speeds up oxygen consumption. Okay, yes. Perfect. Okay. Good. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. Let's now... <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Cobra. Uh, let's now practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies, the dive knife. Try using the survival knife on small fish. You can use left mouse button. All right. There we go. Well done. Smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? The harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first? And then... Hmm. Looks like you'll need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch, let's say, three fish. Aim with right click and fire with left click. Now try it out yourself. All right, let's see. Oh, okay, so it's instant. So you basically, you hold down right click and then you left click it to, uh, to shoot here. Let's see. Oh, wow, yeah, this is harder than I thought. Aha. <laughs> First try. <laughs> Aha. Here we go. Let's see. Is there something unique, maybe? I don't know. Okay, let's just do it. They're all grouped together. Perfect. I think that should get you back on track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. Oh, it's so fun. I, I love that already. It's going to be unique. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure. That soft fish meat with oily rice? Oh man, that's just the best. Aha, well listen up. I have a friend who is a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one of a kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? <laughs> Yum, I'm already craving it. <laughs> I bet, so why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine declining mm -hmm. like the game? <laughs> I wonder what happens. Um, 
Yeah, sure. You have to pay, though. <laughs> Can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the blue oh. hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. Okay. Move over to this. Hold down. Okay. There we go. Let's check it out. Let's see what it's like. Hey, Boncho. Are we all ready to open? As you can see, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished? You? Ah, uh, you are the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. All right, anyways, it's nice to meet you. I'm Boncho. So, you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Hmm, just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes mother nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. Oh, the kitty. Oh, snap. <laughs> An earthquake? Hmm, the interior really is quite a mess. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. The state? <laughs> In the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Only three fish? This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Mm, won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It's a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You'll need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Right. So it looks pretty straightforward. <sighs> I haven't seen Boncho so enthusiastic since the incident. <laughs> In quotes. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Oops, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients. So go catch seven fish first. Oh, perfect. So we're starting with negative gold. Perfect. All right. Let's dig in. All right, everybody. Here is our first dive. Here we go. So left click is our knife. Right click is how we aim our harpoon. Blue tang. I love I love that it almost like slightly goes into slow motion. It's really satisfying. Here we go, what's this? Kajime. Okay. Oh, that's gonna take some getting used to. It's like a sea urchin here. Ah, it hurts. Uh -huh. I'm gonna have to upgrade my gloves. Gotcha. Oh, oh, what is that? Like a, I don't even know. An orbicular batfish, okay. Oh, a seahorse. I cannot do anything to it. Okay. What's this? Wood. <laughs> Perfect, perfect, wood. Oh, uh, okay. uh, okay, so you had to press space bar really fast. And I see there's, there's the weight here as well. That's how much we can hold. Um, okay, I cannot catch that either. Ooh, oh. No, okay. Oh, okay. So I'm hurting it, but I'm not. 
Oh my gosh. Haha! -ha. Fried egg jellyfish. Well, at least the knife is faster. Oh! Oh! Do you have a health bar? Do I? I'm look, I don't see a health bar. Oh! I do not want to risk this. I don't want to... I don't want to take too much damage. If, if that means, like, something bad could happen. I do see I'm close to having too much weight already. And there is... See, so there's an oxygen container, too. I wonder... Why don't we just quickly catch some stuff since we're already basically full on weight? Ooh. Easy. See, we got it. Okay, and we're going to need to get closer. <laughs> if you exceed your weight limit, you will slow down. If you exceed an even higher amount, you won't be able to carry anymore. Press escape to organize. Okay. Okay, so we're heavy right now. We want to make sure we get out of the water. I press escape. Okay. Oh, I see. So it shows how much of each each item we have, how much it weighs. I think I think I'm fine having this weight. Let's just go up to the surface. Do you just, I assume, to leave? You just go to the end. I'm gonna go to the end and stuff. Okay, let's see. Yes, perfect. Okay. And that was pretty straightforward. That was pretty, I mean, you know, we were starting to run low pretty quickly, but <laughs> it's, it's the first day. Here we go. My, my, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Okay, dive log. Weather, temperature, time, depth, the biggest fish. Perfect. I love it. Okay, and it even shows, oh, perfect. It even shows you the stuff to the fish tank. Okay. All right. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hours start. Okay, let's walk over here and go to the sushi restaurant. Oh, I'm so excited. This is honestly, I can see myself getting so hooked in this game. Uh, Bancho, how are the preparations coming along? Hmm, I think we're mostly set. That's good, here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Koba? You're to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? I, I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serving. He said all I needed to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. <laughs> Open the ingredients below. Okay. Here, you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you'll need to know. Come back later for more information. Okay. Um. All right, now I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Seagull, um, sure, let's do it. And, all right, that probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now, use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. Here we go. I see, so here I have six blue tang, but it looks like I can enhance it. Maybe I can't. Left control, okay, it's not working. So maybe I can't yet. Oh, here we go. Max, okay, I'm gonna set all those, perfect, okay. Let's just keep adding stuff, to be honest. Here we go. And the fried egg jellyfish. Perfect. Okay. And I'm not 
I'm not bronze yet, so. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna see. Oh. Oh no, I cannot, because I need the blue tank. Okay. Alright. And then the base menu has seaweed and green tea. Perfect. How long are you gonna stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Have you perhaps poured green tea before? No, only soft drinks, I think. Shh, I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Press S to pour the right amount. Sometimes customers will order drinks. Press S to pour the green tea just the right amount. Oh, oh, yeah, I went over. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's do that again. Okay. So you have to stop kind of early on and it kind of keeps going. Okay. Customers who drank green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. As expected, Bancho's green tea is quite something. Mm, that tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat perhaps? <laughs> Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Wait till the cooking is done. Okay, so you can see he's cooking his bar right here. Come over to where I am and take this food. Space bar, okay. You can dash when serving food. Use left shift to move quickly. Don't forget to watch your stamina. Okay, there we go. Aw, okay, space bar. Hello. You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. Um, Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it out. It seems like such a waste to throw it away. Boncho Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food for, made for guests on the table twice. Hold down Q to discard. Okay. Everything looks about ready. I haven't cooked for customers in a while. I'm kind of nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes to the menu before the sushi bar opens. Okay. Here we go. I hope it's not too difficult. Oh, and there's a new bar over here too on the right. Oh, okay. Oh, oh beverage. Okay, okay, don't mess this up. Oh, she's fine. Oh, perfect. Okay, thanks girl. Sprint a little bit. There we go. Okay. Ooh. I feel bad. Can I like? Can I improve my speed or my stamina? Oh, what's that? Okay. Um. 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 Oh. Oh. Okay. Left click plus right click. Okay. Okay, that person's getting upset. Okay, let's go help. Ooh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Who's been here longer? Oh god, I don't know. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go anyways. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I wish for a higher sprint bar. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, I kinda love it. This right bar is going down. Here, let's do some fishes. Left click and right click to make those go away. There we go, okay. I think this one was here first. Here we go. Alrighty, quickly, quickly, Dave. There you go. Let's see. You won't be able to produce food if you run out of wasabi. Grind and refill the wasabi before it runs out. W to go, oh. <laughs> okay, we're good. The restaurant's closed. <sighs> I mean, that was kind of stressful. Five stars. You earned Artisan's Flame. Okay. Phew, work's finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt. You were a bit clumsy, but... Not bad for a first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> a man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Yeah, yeah, all right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Boncho Sushi. 
Oh, I love the cat. Um, <laughs> am I going to need to be nervous this whole time because there's going to be a giant octopus potentially able to call me or kill me? Hmm, are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, I think so. Shh, I was expecting a more professional looking guy. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. <laughs> I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. A reward? Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying you could ask for nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. All right, so now we have gathering and a smartphone. Okay. You can use your phone to access various types of content. Check your current missions and more. Okay, so it looks like N is your phone. No, escape is your phone. A new call from Cobra. Okay. Hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's the point of calling when you're so close? It's a waste of phone fees. Talk to me in person. Okay, he's right here. <laughs> Come to think of it, it's already been around eight years that we've known each other. I was having fun diving back then near Richelle, you rock. You suddenly wanted to get your suitcase that fell off the boat. <laughs> I thought I was in real trouble back then. I was working as a weapon dealer, and there were important blueprints in that suitcase. Luckily, you saved them before they could be ruined. I have no idea how I would have fought Hans Lindemann without the blueprints. Hans Lindemann? Oh, I was talking to myself. Um, okay. Oh, see? And look, I already earned some of that money back. Um, okay. Is there anything else I need to do on the phone? I don't, there's no news or anything, so let's just jump right in. Let's do another dive. Um, anyways, this game is a lot of fun. I actually, I see myself sinking a bunch of hours into it, and there's a lot of little details. You see, like, you can see all the little rain falling into the water. It's really satisfying. It makes me really happy. So it's something that I thoroughly love. I hope you do too. Um, if you are at all interested, I say head on over to Steam, check out the game, support the developers. I think it's absolutely worth your time. Um, if you have any questions, please comment them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed your coffee and have a great day.